What's going on everyone? Seth Miranda here for Adorama TV with the new DJI FPV drone. FPV standing for first person view. And that's kind of an area of drones that I feel has had a barrier to it. It's been a little more difficult. There's some challenges, uh, complications from the build to even the use case. Well, I think DJI is actually trying to change that and make it more accessible for a wider audience. And they're doing that with this FPV drone right here, including with the kit, which gives you everything in one shot, the goggles, the drone, a controller, and a battery and you're ready to go. You don't have to keep on piecing together a kit to get going with the FPV experience. One of the features that sets this FPV drone apart from some of the others is the fact that it has some modes on it that makes it easier for people with less experience. Uh, one of the modes being normal. I'm not kidding you, that's really what it's called. It gives you some of what of the experience of flying some of the other DJI drones like a Mavic, but it also has sport mode, which is a hybrid between full manual and having some automated features. So it self-stabilizes and actually maintains an altitude. So it'll keep you in a safe space as a pilot flying this thing while giving you some control to actually steer it and take where you want to go in navigational. Uh, but there's also full manual, right? So you can take in full control of this thing once you feel comfortable with it and you can get yourself into some racing tricks. Whatever you want to do, that's up to you. But at least you have the ability to grow with this drone from normal to sport to full manual control. There's also some safety built into this as well. It's got sensors on the front and bottom, so it'll have features like emergency brake and hover. It'll have landing and takeoff assistance. And it'll even have return home in case there's some issues out there, which we actually ran into here flying it over the water at Liberty State Park. It had to come back due to the battery running low. But that's not to say the battery didn't last a pretty long time. You've got about 20 minutes of runtime on this, which is phenomenal, especially in the FPV space where most drones on average have about 10 minutes of flight time or less. So that's pretty awesome, especially if you're in the zone with the goggles on with a 150 degree field of view from the camera on board this thing. You're in it, you don't want to stop. You got 20 minutes of flight time. As far as the goggles go, the V2 here, they use OcuSync, which is 28 milliseconds latency, which is super quick as far as transmission goes. And you also have 810p, 120 frames per second in the view. So it's really smooth experience with them on and you're just really focused on what you're doing and getting that first person view from the drone, which is, which is actually really fun. Let's talk about some resolution now, right? So 4K60, awesome. But you also have 1080p 120 if you wanna do some slow-mo. 4K60 is, is great also if you need some slow-mo, but you want that 120 frame really, and you get that at 1080p. This thing is actually pretty fast too. It can reach up to 100 kilometers per hour in just two seconds and has a top speed of 140 kilometers per hour. And just in case you're wondering, the uh, transmission distance is about 10 kilometers. So that's pretty great too. All right, so give this drone a shot. We came out here to Jersey to fly it over Liberty State Park water, which is pretty great because it's a nice open field and we had these nice pillars to fly into and get that first person view. I keep saying that in this video, but that's what this drone is. It's an FPV drone. We also went over to the Patterson Great Falls, which is a really cool view to go around some organic rock formations, I'll call them being a city boy that I am, and watching that waterfall drop and see what kind of motion capture we were getting. So who's this for? Well, it's like I said, it's for anybody that's been curious about FPV drones that may not have a lot of experience, someone that hasn't droned at all uh, and wants to get something that has a little bit of training wheels on it right here, but it also allows you to take those training wheels off and go full manual should you get there. So it's kind of like instead of buying a few drones to get to this point, you're just going all in with a kit with the goggles, drone, battery, and the controller and you're ready to go. So you can go and right into uh, sport mode. It'll take care of you a little bit. The safety features will make sure you don't destroy the thing and you can kind of grow with it going into manual mode. Okay, so if you have any questions about the DJI FPV drone, head us with a question down below in the comments. We'll do our best to answer it for you. Don't forget to hit like, subscribe, plus the bell for more videos like this. And we'll see you guys next time. Later. Making it a little bit easier if you have a little less experience in, in fil uh, piloting, 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 piloting. Please don't make that an Easter egg.